take vacations. Go as many places as you can. You can always make money. You can't always make memories. If you enjoy watching our videos, please subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook or visit us at EmbracingEclectic.com. What's up, everybody? Boy, am I glad you're here. One thing I hate doing, especially alone, is laundry. Laundry is one of the things that uh, we don't really like doing or enjoy doing, but we have to do it, whether we like to or want to at all. Um, we, uh, I figured I'd like to just give everybody an idea of how it is that we do our laundry in our pop-up camper here. Um, you can see right now, it's actually removing, oops, removing, oops, oops, removing a couple, uh, couple uh, things that were actually left drying um, from our drying rack, which actually hangs right over our, our shower here, just little stick -em, stick em hooks that we hung up from the ceiling, uh, and then we just put our clothes up there after we've gone through the spinning cycle of our washing machine. And then as you see here with everything, uh, we roll all our clothes just like that and we have all of our, uh, I'll show you the view here of, of what our clothing area actually looks like and how everything's stored here. But uh, that's pretty much it. Usually we don't keep the hangers there until we start hanging up the clothes. I just rip them down uh, while I'm putting stuff away. But this has gone through its cycle. You saw it kind of rotating. Now I'm just going to actually dump the water out. We. Uh, right down through our shower and it goes right out through the uh, to the dump out there that we have. We dump our, our gray tank. It's actually a blue tank for our gray water. Um, and this thing, this machine does a, a really good job. We are full timers in a pop up with five people in our family. Three of them being uh, boys five and under and all of our laundry is done out of this machine right here. Uh, we never go to the laundromat uh, unless we feel like doing bulk blankets or something from the beds. Uh, even then we'll just piece it out one at a time. But uh, just to give you an idea how the whole process is actually done, try to squeeze out every bit of water, extra water that we can, just to help the, dry, the actual drying process. This thing here actually comes with a spinner to help dry your clothes. Unfortunately, as much clothes as you can get in there, you're not going to get in there drying. So we have our stool here that we actually use for our toilet. We just turn it over and we'll actually throw our clothing in there. But um, as far as what it is, we not, might not be able to dry right off the back. Whatever doesn't fit inside the actual spinner. Put this guy right here. Uh, the spinner actually has been something um, that has taken us uh, quite some time to get used to. Just because of, uh, you gotta balance the clothing in there to get a really good, perfect spin. Um, I try to layer it in there probably still not going to work, um, especially because I'm trying to make a video of it, but uh, that's that's what you try to do, otherwise this washing machine is just going to wobble the heck out of itself uh, to the point where you can either just uh, rest yourself on there and relax for a little bit, enjoy the vibration, or uh, sometimes I let it go on its own for a little bit, and then I'll... Uh, stop it and then I'll reorg re reorganize it there inside that spinner. Alright, get this stuff right in there. Now again, you know, that's still what's in there, what we have left uh, to actually dry. This thing is just going to snap right in there. This top on, and we gotta bring this hose back down the drain hose. Well, so I, I only have to hold it uh, just for a slight bit here, but um, this is you can see 
or actually hear the water coming through here. I'll show you. Um, just pouring out of here and the water actually collecting uh, from the laundry actually going through its uh, spin cycle to dry it. Um, get most of the water out of there and then uh, after that we'll hang them up and let it dry. Um, this thing has probably saved us a ton of money with camping uh, because laundry was actually one of the most expensive uh, expenses out there while camping. Um, but for this itself, it, it serves its purpose. Uh, we don't have much, we don't carry much clothes because we can only store so much clothes and we don't have, a, you know, laundry bins or anything to where things can build up. Um, at most, we may have like two full loads of laundry to actually do. It is, um, it's definitely a benefit just being able to actually do it in-house and have it done here and not have to go anywhere else. It makes things a lot easier, especially with all the kids that are around us um, and everything that we try to get done during the day uh, on a normal daily basis. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, this thing here is just, uh, we've started using it, I want to say, uh, almost a full seven months now. Again, full-time, all of our laundry has pumped through this tub here. and. Uh, and we love it. I think it's about 70 bucks or so. And um, it just makes things so much easier. Uh, like I said, being able to do whatever here. It has a timer that you can set it for, you know, a uh, five minute spinning timer. Uh, I usually go by whatever the, the drops are that are out there on the side, um, seeing if water is still being splattered out there. And it, 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 it's collecting some moisture out there. You see water's coming out. So, probably actually give this to its full time and then what I'll do is I'll hang them up there on the hanger and just let them dry. Uh, our screens are all open and the airflow is going good so you know hopefully this should be dry by tonight uh, if anything. Um, but we, we try to do laundry you know we don't have much clothes so that way it doesn't actually build up on us. It's a, it's a happy medium as far as that goes. So we don't have an abundance of extra clothes that we don't even wear or store. We just continue to use everything and wash everything as we go, and it's a it's a good timing flow of everything. Um, there you go. Just stop drying, spinning, stop spinning. And I mean, it's still it's still pretty wet. I would definitely why not just keep it in there for a little bit longer. Put it on another little put it on a little five minute actual five minute cycle, but. Um, it will never come out fully dry. It'll still always be damp, but uh, nothing that we've ever had a problem dealing with our clothes afterwards uh, with it drying. Um, I do have another video that I'll I'll include a link in here uh, in the description just of how this machine specifically works. And this is actually when I first uh, first got this thing going, and um, it's one of my most popular videos and. I honestly believe, I mean, I wouldn't leave home without it, even though our home is wherever we park it. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, doing laundry with me. If you ever want to try to do laundry with me, you can always feel free to join me uh, as we travel around. But, uh, like I said, I definitely highly recommend one of these guys. If this thing ever does break or blow up, I am buying one within that day. Uh, guaranteed. So, awesome item. Uh, love it. Makes our lives a little bit easier. And that's about it. Happy camping.